Welcome to Analytics with Knox. This is another video in the Catch Up with Knox series where I'm going to talk about Power BI release June 2025. In this video, as usual, I'm not going to cover all the uh, releases that Power BI team has come up with. We are going to focus on one of the few things that is very relevant in the development community. And the first important thing that we need to know is like power bi is going to turn 10 soon that is officially it's going to have its 10th birthday that is july 24th so to tell, celebrate this event there is a database context has been uh, conducted so i wish uh, those who are aspiring into uh, jump into this anal data analytics world i recommend you to participate or uh, have a look at it how the people are participating or contributing so that in your upcoming years you can also participate updates to the visual calculations i always um, recommend using uh, visual calculations this is very special because a lot of people familiar with the excel kind of uh, formulas so once you have a visuals in your table and you can apply a lot of calculations out of um, within the table itself you no need to write complex tags to achieve certain results. This is what uh, visual calculations are all about. There is some updates. Support for adding paginated reports in ORC apps. If you are not familiar about ORC apps, what, what it is. With the introduction to Fabric, um, you can have multiple apps per workspace. Earlier in Power BI, you have only one app for, per workspace. Right now, with the org apps in the fabric workspace you can have multiple apps within the same workspace and what is special in this release you can also add paginated reports earlier paginated reports are not supported in the apps right now you can also add paginated reports in the org apps and most exciting feature is here that is power query editing in the web meaning like you can able to start editing the power bi reports in the web that was there uh, long back right last year they introduced editing your semantic models but there is a catch over there you cannot do power query meaning you cannot add uh, new tables or uh, changes in the power query right now in this month power query editing is enabled meaning like you can completely get rid of um, the power bi desktop that is what uh, it sounds like but i will make a detailed video i will have a, a detailed study on that so that i can explain you in a better terms so right now assumption is you can do everything in the web so it's time for uh, many consultants and uh, those who thought like power bi only power bi desktop you can author right now you can author uh, completely from starting to end publishing right within the power bi web itself that is in the within the services you can create your power bi reports by getting the data uh, doing your transformation modeling as well as reporting that is what it sounds like let me get into the details uh, in upcoming videos power bi project public json schemas this is more of a developer friendly where uh, you have um, public json schemas has been uh, linked so that you can view it anywhere i will quickly walk to this as well these are the features i like the most let's try to see it in action this channel contains a free content that covers Power BI, MSBI, Fundamentals of Azure and um, other Azure as well as Data Factory as well. Please utilize this free content, share this channel with your friends and colleagues. Let's begin. So we are in Power BI uh, portal where the first news is here that is Power BI is turning turn and come celebrate with us. So you can celebrate, you can participate, and if you are, I think you are in US, you can uh, visit the conference that's going to happen. So here it is. If you want to join the contest, you can join it here, right? You can register it. And the next feature uh, that we are talking about is visual calculations. Let's go and check it out. So 
create your visual calculations faster with the parameter picker. So earlier you need to write auto intelligence was there but right now there is our mark that indicates you can able to drop down what are the fields available in this uh, visual that will be appearing in the drop down you can see here you can choose it here this is one of the um, user um, experience enhancement and uh, moving forward we have um, uh, the power query editing in the web that i told you Let's see here what um, Microsoft is saying to us. This month, we are excited to deliver one of the most requested capabilities of semantic model editing in the web. Since the launching of data model editing and services that I spoke about, you t uh, told us Power Query was the final missing piece to unlock truly complete end-to-end -end authoring experience in the browser. So it is clear like they mentioned uh, it will be possible to get data, transform, refresh the import model entirely on the web with no need of Power BI desktop. So they already mentioned add a new import tables to your semantic model. So this is what little confusing me to me. It sounds like uh, you already need to publish a um, uh, model in the Power BI uh, web. Then you can able to add certain tables or edit existing model it doesn't sounds like you can create from the scratch i'm not sure so i will have a look up about it and i will make a video on that as well so next thing what we are saying is like support for adding page noted reports and power bi project file so here it is support for adding page noted reports so it's now possible to include page noted report items in your organizational applications when you add content to your organizational application that is org apps please select the page noted reports you wish to you know, uh, incorporate in the save changes so if you want to add your page noted reports choose those uh, page noted reports and click on add to app then one last thing that i want to uh, highlight here is like power bi project and json file this is what i'm um, recommending for past you need to start using pbip files i know a lot of uh, my colleagues or uh, even in my uh, contacts they always claim like the power by migration is a long pending task because they have uh, hundreds of reports how to migrate it they not aware so i strongly recommend start using pbip files so that it will be a uh, seamless and you need to integrate with the devops so you can do your migration smoothly so coming to this uh, release what they have done uh, you can see if you have saved your pbip files exported to git access through uh, fabric get item uh, apis will be in the coming weeks include public json schema so you will find um, uh, url like this what it does this schema url is publicly accessible allowing users to understand all available properties and their mean meanings through the files evolution okay so this is can be this can be publicly accessible so that you can able to uh, view the what are the changes that has been uh, happened so that's it about uh, this uh, release i'm um, um, very excited and very happy uh, that for the past 10 years power bi has so much evolved that has transformed so many people life including me if you are um, new to this channel hit the thumbs up button and subscribe button and share this channel with your friends and colleagues